Okay. Here we are. I can start loading Fallout New Vegas. I've got everything set up and ready to go. I haven't run it yet. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Pretty good? Awesome. All good. But I still wish Payday 2 was cross-play. So then I could play it with all my friends instead of, you know, <laughs> one person. <laughs> Oh, it's great. It's it's insane. Okay, Logan. Okay, so I should be able to go to my main screen. I might have to force it to capture New Vegas. Okay, I can't see the video, so y'all let me know if it if it might take a second for it to load in. But let me know. <laughs> Got to fiddle with the settings too. It's all in the top left. Okay, I'm not surprised. Uh, let's see. change the... I probably can't change it from here. Okay. Go back to that. And I'll head open Steam back up and I'll relaunch it. Yeah, I can see all, all my stuff has shifted to one side of the screen. I had to, I, I can't adjust the settings in game, which is where you do it 99% of the time. Capture on the main. Oh, up, 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 up. What did I grab? It's the alert box. Where's the game capture? Okay, let's just. Let's just try this. How about now? Is that any better? It looks better on my end. Or is it still being wonky? It's all good? 
Excellent. Okay, yeah. It's like copyright mute. <laughs> <Without a love. laughs> no, I go a ton of intelligence right out of the gate. After the uh, War never opening sequence, when Here, atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, yep. what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his Mr. army House. of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? There's Benny. Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I've never really looked at that dude on the right of Benny, who's just like, the whole time. <laughs>
Yeah, Ron Perlman is the uh, is the narrator in uh, in Fallout Three and in New Vegas. I don't know if he's the narrator in Seventy Six because I never played it because it's all online, and I said I'm not doing that. Classic pack items, the tribal pack, mercenary pack. Those were all the pre-order bonuses, by the way. You're awake. Huh? The caravan pack. I think the. I don't remember which one it was. GameStop did the one that gave you the uh, the weathered 10 millimeter pistol, the um, and the Vault 10 canteen, um, and it gave you a couple other little things. It was just some some, some stim packs. Maybe I think it's also the armored Vault 10 jumpsuit. Um, but the other ones were pre-order bonuses from Best Buy and a couple other places. Yeah, I don't place it. I've. I haven't played 76. I've heard since the Settlers update, it's a lot better, but it's still it's still not Fallout as I know it. And I can't bring myself to play it. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. When we get to why the the figure Matic, I'll explain why there. intelligence. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? No. Let's go. There we go. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but... It says the subtitles are on. Why are they not on? Maybe if I... Maybe I have to do that. Because that's the... When you're talking to him, I guess. If that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Well, there we go. Good springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? <laughs> the face the first time every time it's just like what is this I don't like to do a whole lot of customization mainly because if I do I'll be here for six hours <laughs> customizing so I don't really uh, that's why I don't really do it on stream all that much gold steel It's a little too red because I like I want it to be that like kind of orangish red natural red color, but I can't really. I don't want to sit here for six hours and do that, so I'll just stick with that. Come over, come over! Always oh, looks so good. <laughs> Tunnel snake. Oh man. cut like I always do. Facial hair. The mutton stash. <laughs> I forgot how much facial hair there is. Some sweet neck folds there. Mephistopheles. The tiniest soul patch I've ever seen in my life. It 
it's gonna be that one that I passed by earlier. Yeah. The very the very first one. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Like all the brains okay. inside my head. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. The Vitomatic Vigor now. Tester. It ain't a race. Now, one great thing about playing on PC over um, playing on console is if is if everything <laughs> something breaks, uh, I can just console command <laughs> and bring like the person back to life. You're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay, so the reason I like to go intelligence is all right here. A smart cowboy's good at most anything from sucking the poison. Okay, affects science, repair, medicine, and skill points, specifically skill points. So the higher your intelligence skill, the more skill points you get to spend when you level up. Uh, plus, you know, a lot of science and intelligence checks. Or if your intelligence is low enough, um, you don't speak in complete sentences. <laughs> Which is just fun. Perception. Strength. Strength is good to have. Just because how much uh, <laughs> inventory weight you can carry. Plus, I also love uh, hitting all the intelligence checks. <laughs> oh, I should put it back into endurance. Because I know that's going to... Endurance is directly affected by... Like, later on, you can get implants <laughs> and those are affected by I'm pretty well rounded so I kept charisma and endurance the same usually I pull a point out of like I added a point to agility because it affects guns and I like to use guns and I normally I keep it at, I keep it at five. I'm trying something a little different this time. Let's go a little crazy. <laughs> I do like when you put your luck high enough. The doctor says, I'm surprised that bullet didn't just, you know, go right <laughs> go right through and didn't hit anything at all. You know, he makes a, a, a joke like that. Hmm. 
Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a big one drop. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Sure, I'll have a seat on your couch. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dinner, kick, train, newspaper, feed. House. Night. I'm just gonna... Enemy. Light. Mother. Cookie jar. Tantrum. Tattle. Regret. Human shield! <laughs> I don't think I've scrolled all the way through to see that one yet. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Eh. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Ooh, Rorschach test. Broken chain, chemical reaction, a shadow and a door frame, an oozing wound, an angry two-headed ant. I kind of see that angry two-headed ant. I'll click chemical reaction because okay. I'm a smart guy. How about this one? <laughs> Prices work of art. It's some piece of space age technology. I can see that. A ship at sea. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. <laughs> Last one. I can't believe that. A light in the darkness, a bearded man, a mushroom cloud, a head on a pillow. That's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. That's how he, they distribute your points. Guns, 100%. That oh, repair's a good skill to have. Science, absolutely. I can get sneak up pretty easy. Speech is going to be a tough one to bump up, so I could double my speech right away. Or I could do science and lockpick. Repair. My repair skill is pretty high. Survival. Hit points you receive from food and drink. Unarmed, which I'm never going to use. Um, I could go all in on barter. Let's go speech. Just because I'm not going to get any bonuses for my speech. Or for my charisma. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Do you? I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. <laughs> Here we go. Choose up to two traits. Claustrophobic. Okay. 
All weapons have a 3% chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays 15% faster. No. Heavy handed good nature. Plus 25 pounds to your carrying capacity, but suffer a minus one to all attributes anytime the weight you're carrying drops below 160 pounds. <laughs> Never again become addicted to chems, and they'll last twice as long, but after 30, you can kiss experience, perks, and skill points goodbye. Plus 5 points to every skill, but you suffer a 10% experience deficit from now on. Wild Wasteland. 100% gotta do Wild Wasteland. <laughs> the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. <laughs> Have to do Wild Wasteland. Limbs are easily crippled. Now you can do none of these. If you wanted. Minus two damage threshold. Requirements perception less than ten. Enjoy a plus two to each of your special attributes from six AM to twelve PM, but suffer a minus one. Oh boy. Got wild wasteland. All right, That's all I need. That does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. All right, Doc Mitchell. Oops. Ammo box, eh? Ooh, some 4570 government. Buffalo gourd seed. Hang on, Doc Benchel. I'm just going to wander around your house for a second. Does that let me open my inventory yet? Or do I not know how to open my inventory? A Braxo cleaner. Stuff's handy to have in uh, Fallout 4. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Oh. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> oh, I forgot about hardcore mode. Uh, you can play in hardcore mode. Greatly increases the challenge of the game. Stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Right away removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight. Dehydration is a constant concern. And you also have to sleep or you go crazy. Uh, 
no, I would not like to play hardcore mode. I should wait till that blinding light goes away. Old World Blues. Victor. Alright, now let me put some clothes on. Yeah. Let's equip that. Actually, how do I add it to the... Oops. I don't want to drop you. Come back. It's like a weapon wheel that I remember. Apparel. Armored Ball 13 jumpsuit. Yeah, the uh, Vault 13 canteen, that's what it is. Uh, you'll take a sip from it every now and again, and it will actually heal you a little bit. Happy Trails Expedition broadcast. There's Radio New Vegas. Quests. Back in the saddle. Talk to Victor. Oops, there we go. I have to click it in. Ah, dead money. My least favorite of the DLCs. Gunrunner's arsenal's been loaded. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. refresh my browser. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Happy trails! Alright. Poseidon Energy, I remember that place. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Okay, so crouch control does crouch. Don't want to open that crate. Talk to Sunny Smiles in the Prospector Saloon. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. 
Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, cams, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. That's how it ends up. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Which is a good thing. <laughs> the machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. That's uh. Keep your gun handy. One of the if things you go poking around some of the abandoned about... places around here, like the schoolhouse. Well, Critters hold on. move in there sometimes. Thanks for letting me know, Easy Pete. Get that tumbleweed out of your way. There you go. See ya. Um. It's one of the things that this game is kind of similar to Mass Effect uh, in that it's an RPG, but um, <laughs> unlike Mass Effect, it uh, you know it's it's more of a traditional RPG. But the other thing is, you spend a lot of this game trying to gather allies to help you with the Battle of Hoover Dam, much like in Mass Effect Three, you're gathering allies to help you defeat the Reapers. And depending on how you go about it, you'll have different people there and all sorts of different stuff like that. Um, I've always loved the Fallout, especially Fallout New Vegas. It's so good. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay, well, we'll go talk to her in a second. Fixing things, eh? Let me just take a little crouch here and... Oops. Just shut off the jukebox. That's the bathroom. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to do that, but okay, that works. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, those ones. <laughs> it's like, I don't see them. <laughs> That's the right idea. Look down the side. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. No, I hate them. Tell you what. I need your help against I them. I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Oh, the varmint rifle. I keep pressing shift to sprint, and it's the that's the walk button. <laughs>
fair warning, I do a lot of wandering around in the Fallout in any of the Fallout games. But I love New Vegas. I used to think that I liked three more than, than New Vegas, but no. <laughs> Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Yes, Wapold. New Vegas. I'm gonna sneak up on some geckos now. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Don't worry, I'm still hidden. Kill the geckos at the well. Oh. I don't know what button is vats. V. V for vats. That makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> Search gecko. I'm going to do that every time. Oh, I'm, uh, well, I'm glad that you're glad that I'm playing it. <laughs> the one complaint I have about Bethesda games like Fallout and uh, and the Elder Scrolls games is, and it's it's not a real complaint because uh, it doesn't happen to me very often. I have seen it happen to other people. The where the thing happens where. You know, you've run up on a town, and the person that you're trying that you need to talk to is dead, because it took you too long to get to the town, and the, uh, you know, a bear showed up and killed the person that you need to get the quest from because they're not an essential character, so they they can be just murdered <laughs> super easy. Where's there she is? She's on the other side of this rock. Um, but if that happens, I can just console command it and bring them back to life. <laughs> No, I don't See? miss out on anything. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. And I've also, like I said, I haven't really had that experience too many times. Once or twice I've had it happen, and it's devastating when it does happen. But I don't think it's as big of a problem in this game as it is in some of the other ones because like in oblivion pretty much anybody who gave you a quest was an essential character and you could tell because the essential characters all had uh i didn't even i just fired at one and it didn't even hit anything um you could tell because the essential characters when you looked at them they had like a crown in the middle of the crosshair that way you knew you couldn't kill them oh she moved on I also hit refresh on my browser about six minutes ago, and it's just now starting to uh, reload. Had There's too many. I don't even see you. Come on. Get him oh, that's why, because she's like wedged right there. <laughs> Talk to Sonny about your reward. Oh, it's just a settler who's stuck behind a tree. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. 
Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Well, thanks. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. We'll get cooking. Hey, Cheyenne. What is... Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, Cheyenne's eyeballs aren't in her skull. They're on the side of her head. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what happened? Oh, that's gross looking. Oh. That's the stuff of nightmares. I'll press V so that way you stop telling me to press enter to or press V to enter vats. I have to figure out if there's a way I can do like a like a quick wheel. A weapon wheel of some kind. Okay. We're gonna creep up here. Although I know they're at the schoolyard. And they know they know we're coming. A bunch of mantis bugs. I'm just gonna leave it all. I need some Xander root. Is it growing inside the schoolyard? I think it is growing inside the school, if I remember correctly. We'll go poke our heads in there and just make sure. And once again, I can't see my chat, so I apologize if y'all are saying anything. <gasps> Mantis! Okay, this is not working. Come on, where's my different gun? There you are. Oh, that's gonna be the best thing about, about using vats here. Is I won't have to, like, wiggle the thumbstick around to try to get the thing I want. I can just click head and then kill it. That's gonna be... <laughs> just assassinate these mantis nymphs. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Just because the varmint rifle has way more, uh... I have way more rounds for that. I believe that's supposed to be a mantis egg. Give me that. I don't need any of that. Hey! Mantis, stop it. Bad mantis. Okay, now, I don't know how much you guys know about the hacking in uh, the Fallout games, but I, it took me forever to figure this out. You can highlight these little sections of code. They'll remove dud answers. And they'll even go so far as sometimes resetting your your number of tries. 
It's easier on console because you can just move, like scroll through, and it'll you'll end up highlighting everything that you can select. Removed another dud. I'm running out of running out of options though. Okay. So we'll try and see remains, details, scribes. Okay, one of seven correct. Uncorrect. Okay, well then, how about... Nope. Okay, so I have one attempt left. If I get it wrong, it'll lock me out. So I can just... How do I exit? Can I not exit on the computer? Is that not a thing I can do? Because you just back out on console. Yep, it locked me out. Okay. Oh, I just clicked the power button. That's how I, That's how you log out of the computer on the PC. Okay, well, so I've failed this there. We'll, we'll redo that. Come on. Just kick all these desks around. I know I've got enough action points to do it. Let me... There we go. Missed. Killed the other one. Hey. Stop that. That's right, I opened that up already. Lobby pin. Okay, so we don't have a high enough lockpicking skill to get through. Kind of embarrassing my first uh, my first attempt. I got myself locked out. Sometimes you can remove. Everything but the right answer, and those are the best. <laughs> there we go. Okay, no correct entries, so it can't be fishing, willing. Because of the I and the N. Anything with I N in it right at the end is going to not be correct. So let's go Windows. Healing, endings, cousins, dancing, healing.
Yeah. I'll give it one more go. Problem is, when you do that, it resets everything. <laughs> I wish I could see my chat. It has been a long time since I've played. You can kind of see most of the things are going to be in parentheses. Or they'll have brackets around them. So you can get an idea of what will and won't work. Oh, of course. I remove one dud and the first one I click is the right one this time. Take the stealth boy and the super stim pack and I have to remember to press E to back out of things. So one of my favorite things about New Vegas is the ability to break down and craft ammo. Like that is just it's spectacular. I love it. There you are, Xander Root. I knew I was close by. Okay, I gotta pause it. I gotta. Oh no, we we'll pulled. So I just now tabbed out. <laughs> tabbed out to check my chat. Towards the end of Fallout 3, you had the uh, stop leveling up. That's. Whew. Yeah, saving all the time is the most important thing in any Bethesda game. Basically, uh, James, what you're doing there is you're just trying to. Find the root passcode, essentially. Actually, speaking of, our first save. You just gotta dig around in it, try to remove dud answers, and then it will tell you uh, basically that there's a, a letter in the right, like it has the right number of letters. Or, they all have the same number of letters, but they're not all the same. So I'll tell you which one has the correct, has uh, how many of the letters are correct in the attempt. It's basically what it does. This is going to make me want to play this on my Xbox again. <laughs> but I always end up playing it through about the same way. I don't go back and replay it and try to get different achievements and such. Ooh. Box scorpion. A little dead scorpion is what it is. Yeah, I promise I'm not ignoring you, my wonderful, lovely chat. <laughs> I just can't. I'm just going to have to use Tabitha's laptop for the time being, or, you know, for the foreseeable future, because I can't, I just can't get it to cooper my laptop to cooperate with me anymore. Get out of here, bloatfly. I don't remember there being so many of you. And 
your weapons degrade, so you gotta repair them. There they are. I found a Brock flower and some Xander root. Oh yeah. This goes outside Good Springs and heads near the uh, the quarry. Quarry's a rough place to go. Trails. There's that dead scorpion. All right, now we just gotta find Sunny Smiles. She'll be at a camp, at a little campfire. I'm pretty sure. Then she'll teach us how to cook food, and then we'll be done with the tutorial. And then we'll... Ooh! Where is it? It's near here. There's a wild wasteland... thing. That I've already forgotten about until just now. There's a refrigerator somewhere, just sitting out. There's Prim. That's the next place we gotta go to. Those of you who are unfamiliar with the Fallout games, this little the little triangle there that's just under east right now on my compass. That means that there's a location in that direction that's close enough that I can I'm aware of it but I haven't been to it yet it'll fill in and then it becomes a place that you can fast travel to on the map and some of them will even show up like as a as that one with the line through it that way you can sort of get an idea oh is this is this it Yeah, that's it. It's uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> See who it's supposed to be. Is in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. He climbs in that refrigerator, which is lead lined, and gets flung out of the nuclear test zone. And he's just fine. <laughs> that guy wasn't though. <laughs> Try closing my web browser and opening, and you know, instead of just reloading the page. Hey, what's up, Sunny Smiles? You enjoy walking in place there? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Healing powder. Except. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. Me I'm too. heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. I'm glad Cheyenne's hey, eyeballs are fixed. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. 
She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. <laughs> Where'd the coyote come from? <laughs> Do that so I was protecting us from a coyote. Okay, well that's fine. Let's run off. Ooh, wait. Now I forget what, if anything, I need from these kinds of things. We'll go check in. And I should be able to stop and... Actually, no, I can't repair this thing yet. Oh, I can't wait till I unlock jury rigging. I'm already looking forward to unlocking jury rigging. <laughs> just unlock, just repairing any kind of rifle with any kind of rifle. What button does it? Is it? Yeah, it's Z. I have to remember that. Back to Good Springs. We gotta go talk to. We gotta go to the Prospector Saloon. We gotta talk to the what whatever her name was. I've already forgotten her name. We don't really need it. We're not gonna be back in Good Springs too much. We're gonna have to have words with some folks. soon. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Ooh, leveled up. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Oh, the Powder Gangers. Chang Gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Well, okay then. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. <laughs> this is the dumbest question I've ever seen, but I'm going to ask it Don't anyway. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. 
If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. It's full of death claws, that's why. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps Clearly. in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Be careful out there. Nope. Oh. How many points do I have? 14 skill points. now so we'll bump up yeah we'll try that intense training you can put a single point into any of your special attributes. I think that's one of the ones you can get a couple of times. And let's try to fix right here on the laptop. Each rank of the Swift Learner perk, you gain an additional 10% experience. Swift learner. Done. Excuse me, excuse me. There you go. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? There's so many different Be skill checks, and I always want to hit all of them, and I never can. Okay, so we gotta go talk to Ringo. I'm gonna, it's gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get just back into, like, yeah, about playing New Vegas. I'm gonna look down at the clock and it's gonna be like 5.15. I'm gonna go, dang it, I have to stop now. I'm gonna be upset about that. Sunset Sarsaparilla Machine. You know, it's a good thing they didn't replace New Cola with uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla in New Vegas. To the gas station. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? If you're gonna shoot, you better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? I'm not gonna play caravan. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. My caravan was on the return trip from California, and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. 
I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Boxing times. Turpentine, box of detergent, an empty box, a doctor bag. Oops. I'm gonna just take all these sunset sarsaparillas. <laughs> A lot more gray in Fallout than I am in some other games. <laughs> you know, not good, not bad. In the middle. I do more good than bad, though. Just because a lot of the bad choices in Fallout are. they're rough. And there's another thing that's interesting. The Caesar's Legion, you know, the. the bad guys of, uh, of this game are. Uh, <laughs> They're modeled after uh, Rome and the Roman legionaries and their forces. Um, it's really interesting because uh, the the leader is called Caesar, you know, which is what you'd expect him to be called. However, in the game they pronounce it Caesar, like uh, Easy Pete was saying. In Latin, uh, the letter C doesn't make that soft the there's no soft C it doesn't make that S sound that it can make in English and so the the Caesar is is not how it's pronounced in Latin it's Kaiser so they're actually pronouncing it correctly hi there sticking around good springs for a while longer it's not the you know English version of it which is interesting say no more I'm in well, that was easy. <laughs> Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. I mean, can you blame him though? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Sure, what do you want to know? If you want to... Nope, I was hoping it'd be more specific information. I, but I waiting. know that's not the case. I don't know why I thought it would change. Ooh, hello. Just, uh... Throw out a save. I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to check my chat. Well, James, Latin is a dead language. However, you know, they do still teach it. I took it in high school. I took three years of Latin in high school. You know, but it's also the base for many, many, many other languages. <laughs> Looking 
for stuff to there we go pulling out duds from the computer gotta find the password now moving duds so I pick the right one instead of 14 bad ones in a row like I did before special no three of seven correct out in progress. Oh well. We'll load it and I'll come. We won't uh, we won't try to get it. Not yet. We'll talk to some folks first. I put some points in my explosives specifically because I knew I'd need to talk to Easy Pete about it. Howdy. Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Yep. Okay, so that one's done. Easy peasy. Chicken squeezy. And I think... Putting those points into barter like that. Or not barter in a speech. Should you must get be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. Well, I did. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Surplus ammo um, damages your weapons more, but it's cheaper. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. <sighs> right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Take it. I have to remember what button. Puts my gun away. Talk to Doc. We'll talk to Doc Mitchell. You who? Doc Mitchell. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Sweet. You take... Thanks, Doc. Got some extra armor if you guys want it. I'm sure they won't let me use that, but what button is that? T. 
tea. Nope. Cancel. So T does that. R reloads. I wonder if I just press reload. Yeah, if I hold reload, I, I holster my gun. Okay, I'm figuring the game out. I mean, I've always known the game, just not on the PC. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful out there. Sweet, I got the skill check. So the bar—it was good putting in barter for her, or speech for her. I'm gonna poke my head to the general store again and see if that affected that. Probably not. I'll probably have to try to level up again before it'll let me. You looking to buy some supplies? Right. Take it easy. Let's see, aid. Repair plus ten. Science plus ten. have a barter magazine lying around? Salesman Weekly? Huh. Oops. You can't just Let's take that. I didn't take anything. You looking to buy some supplies? Can do. Sure, I'll buy that. Thanks. Take it easy. Okay, now hang on. Hang on. Hear me out. Okay. You looking okay. to buy some supplies? Now, read that magazine. So. You made. Take it easy now. There we go. <laughs> easy enough. I can't believe I stopped right in front of him and, uh... <laughs> that was it. <laughs> it's just... The point, what is this? Has Trudy gone to her house or something? That's probably what happened. Hey. Oh no. Well then what? What's my quest? West. Ghost Town Gunfight. I gotta talk to Ringo. Okay. That's why. I tried to save some caps. I'm stealing that and then reading it. I just didn't read it right away. <laughs> which was a problem. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right. Let's see what time is it. It's 8.29. Wait till daytime. Just so that way it's easier to see everything.
What's the plan? Are we ready? All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay. Oh, you know what? There's because there's a I think it said I failed a quest up there on the top left for a second because you can go talk to the powder gangers and join up with them and come blow up good springs. <laughs> Shunned by the powder gangers because I killed a bunch of them. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'm sure they will. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to be visiting. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have? He had a cigarette. Powder Ganger outfit. He had a cleaver. Take his shotgun. Take his shotgun too. Oh, easy Pete, no! There's a reason I'm taking several of the same weapons. Howdy. Oh man, they got easy peep. What's the repair button? Repair. Your weapon's damage is uh, directly tied to its uh, condition. I'm glad that business is over. Be careful. Thanks, Trudy. Sunny, I'll be on my way now. Let's save it. Okay, apparently alt aims down sights too. Sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have any more problems with my laptop. 
um, come Sunday. Uh, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna just start using Tabitha's laptop. She's almost never home when I'm streaming, so it shouldn't it shouldn't be an issue. But I do need to do one thing. I need to pause it real quick. Got to hop up, uh, but I'll be back in just a second. Hey, Fenris. Sorry. Um, my chat's messed up. Like my monitoring system over here. Um, so I hadn't been able to see my chat. I just tabbed back out and saw that. Uh, I'm just going to run a quick ad break, but I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, um, so I was saying that I'm going to move Tabitha's laptop in here and try to run all my monitoring stuff on it. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think, I'm, I think this laptop's overheating because my cooling thing stopped working. I mean, it works, it just makes too much noise for me to run it during the stream, otherwise the microphone picks it up. And so I think the laptop's running too hot, so it's having trouble. I'm getting a lot of problems out of the wireless adapter. It keeps just... It keeps just being wonky. There's a few powder gangers hanging out nearby. Ah, the first star bottle cap I've found. Hobby Wasteland. Uh -huh. 
I'm shooting all around this guy. There he is. The powder gangers are mad at me for my overwhelmingly monstrous behavior. <laughs> Take a stim pack. Bunch of bloat flies over there. Oh, the Vicky and Vance Casino. Not gonna lie, jumped a little bit. Didn't expect the mine to explode. CR money. I definitely don't want that. Tire iron. I'm carrying way too much dynamite. A note. Bunch of radioactive crap. Atomic cocktail. This might left all their booze in their dresser. Getting a little bit of radiation. Not much. It's bound to happen. There goes some geckos. I saw a little one just run through. The real bad ones are the fire geckos. That <laughs> actually breathe fire. Should be able to at least get the Yeah, and every other level you get to choose a perk. Brad Roach. Ooh, I tagged it. That sounds like more geckos. That's probably all it is down there. Probably too close to enemies to save it. Or not to save it, to fast travel, but that's fine. It seems to Mass Effect being weird about it. And I should check my chat real quick. 
Okay, everybody's good. Yeah, I should have my chat fixed by Sunday at the latest. Um, the, uh, one, once again, there's nothing wrong with my chat. It's just the laptop that I use to view my chat is, uh, well, it's not working right. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay, we'll go talk to Lieutenant Hayes. on our map too. Hey, I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. You want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Sir, I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. They killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves Powder Gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Sir? Okay, well, that's it. Hey. Hola. Okay, so these four are for DLCs. So we need to go to the Mojave Express building in Prim, which is here. Got business here? Jump, jump, jump. There we go. Those mines are a little more finicky than I remember them being. So 
some shacks out here that I don't remember ever going to check out. That's why, because that's the houses for the people that live here. <laughs> much ammo left. I think I've got plenty of 10 millimeter rounds. Got some 357 ammunition as well, so I can use that. But I'd prefer to hold on to it. Bunch of 5 millimeter rounds. Ow. Ooh, that's dynamite. Ouch. They're be coming up here. Yeah, I know. So you can either use a doctor bag to fix your damaged limbs. Or you can, uh... Or you can use stim packs, but you just have to. Ow. There we go. I can go to weapons, I can go to varmint rifle, and I can repair, Ooh. repair, oh, that's so much better. Express delivery order. check to see which of my skills is higher. Uh, science is 40, repairs 25, so I'm going to try science. Fifty five or higher required. Repair sixty five or higher. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Thanks for noticing. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. 
That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the cats. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Yeah, the guy he was talking about, uh, I believe, is Ulysses, who is the one of the main characters in the uh, Lonesome Road DLC. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have... Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Makes sense. That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Don't go getting yourself shot. E.D. Move along, please. <laughs> Robot wearing those cowboy boots. Hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much going to wrap things up for today. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and throw down a save. <sighs> that's pretty much going to wrap it up. There's nothing I can do in two minutes and fall out. Oh, there's a beagle behind me. Where is he? <laughs> so... Uh, I'll just kind of go over what all we've got going on, um, you know, a couple of things before I wrap the stream up. So, um, I I don't think I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, we might do something, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it might be either... I don't know. I, I think Tabitha's working tomorrow, so we probably won't. 
do a bonus stream tomorrow. Um, but on Sunday, back to Call of Duty. Next week's a bit different than normal. Um, Call of Duty is going to be on Sunday, like normal, from 1 to 6. Or, I'm sorry, that's wrong. From 6 to 10 um, Eastern Time. And then, uh, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday I'll be streaming. Um, Thursday and Friday I won't be. Uh, I'm going out of town for a wedding. Um, but the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday streams will be their normal streams. So Monday it's going to be Doom Eternal. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, so, you know, we'll continue like we've been doing. Um, and then sun this, not the not uh, two days from now, Sunday, but next Sunday, uh, I probably won't be streaming because I don't know what time we're going to get back in town. It's like an eight-hour drive. That's without any stops. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of rough, me getting back to stream. Um, we may do it. I may not. I don't know. But I'll... I'll tell you about it, and I'll make sure that I post my absence on all my accounts. That way, just there's a reminder and everybody's aware. Um, let me see. Is there anything else I need to mention? I've got all my normal links. You know, I've got the uh, there's a I've got a community Discord, and there's an announcements page there, uh, and I also have a Twitter account. The announcements page on the community Discord and the Twitter account I use just to post updates about the stream. You know, what day, what I'm streaming on, what days, and and what time. Um, that's all. Um, I do also have a YouTube archive. All my videos get posted to YouTube. That way, if you want to go back and catch up on a story game, or if you, you know, want to see how I did something, you know, so you can know not to do it that way or know to do it that way, depending on what I did, <laughs> you can go back and you can check it out there. Um, but I want to thank all y'all for dropping by and saying hi and putting up with all my technical problems, uh, this week. It's been a, it's been a rough week, uh, for technical problems but i will catch you all next time bye everyone have a great rest of your day